I must say that in the beginning, the question seemed a little bit daunting uh, as we were dealing with a lot of uncertainty. But in the past few months, what we've really seen and what I have experienced personally is, you know, we are great at collaborating and we are very creative and we have collective resilience um, and we can really pull through uh, as long as we do it together. So, uh, because in the end, we're not individuals. So we have the collective creativity and um, perseverance, definitely, to get through this period. And now the question just seems more um, energizing. What is the new normal? We actually have this massive opportunity, massive opportunity to collectively do some real rethinking about how we want to return to work uh, and what works best and most motivating, not just for ourselves, but also for our surroundings. Uh, what does it mean to your work-life balance when uh, you have a little bit more flexibility? I must say that in the past few months, I have found myself spending much more time with my family, thankfully discovering that we really love each other and really enjoy spending time together. Um, I've also been working out a lot more um, and all in all uh, all these things have really led me to think like all right so moving forward what are the some of the things i really want to hold on to and maybe um, uh, redesign uh, into my new normal what's really inspired me in the past three months is our customers their um, their resilience their leadership um, and being able to be a part of those conversations is, is the biggest takeaway for me in, in, in the past three months. And yes, those conversations are um, not always great, uh, you know, going through some tough times. So being open, honest and constructive is, you know, more important than ever before. It's really the basis of the trust that we have together. And, you know, as some of, some of the organizations are reimagining new go-to-market models. Um, and just being able to be a part of that and to provide, in many instances, the, the, the data and the insights to perhaps start to reimagine some of those new decisions and new strategic directions, um, that's, that's been an amazing uh, takeaway from, from this period. I also see companies um, wanting to talk a lot more about how are my employees learning when they're at home? Uh, how are we even facilitating that and have, ha, how's the way that we have been facilitating that actually uh, has it been working? So I've really seen a shift in sort of the need for the data and the insights in the past three months. Not to say that it's moved away from talent, but definitely in parallel as important. How are we learning? How are we helping our employees to learn? And how engaged are we? And um, do we know sort of the, the sentiment that is at play and are, are we connected to that on a continuous basis? How do I view the future on, on, on talent? And that is that I just think there's going to be great opportunity. Um, this is where I think the strength and the vision of, of, of LinkedIn really comes in. Uh, truly creating economic opportunity for the global workforce. Um, and if we as professionals um, uh, nourish our networks, uh, if we stay connected, if, if we learn, right, if we take every opportunity we can to learn and to provide value where we can, um, I, think, I, I think there's going to be great opportunity.